Hello and welcome to WP EasyCart. In this video tutorial we're going to walk through the all new Elementor template builder uh, for customizing your e-commerce uh, with WP EasyCart. And so let's dive in here and get started. Uh, Elementor is a very popular page builder that I know a lot of uh, people are using these days. And we have a whole bunch of new modules now that let you create and customize uh, your store if you you are familiar with that Elementor page builder and particularly we have a new system that lets you customize this product detail page uh, a lot of people want to be able to customize this or maybe create a template and you can easily do that now uh, with the combination of both Elementor and WP Zcart installed now let's get take take a look at this example here um, we have a, this is our stock template that you get um, and you can still do a lot with this. I'm just going to jump in here to our settings and I just have a basic uh, easy cart installation here with some demo products and I'm going to go to settings and products and even though uh, this is just the standard stock uh, template you've got your description down below, you've got your images up there, you've got some related products um, this doesn't look bad at all and you can certainly use this and people can select their options and add to cart. Uh, but if you want to do some basic modifications you may be okay with this template. Uh, in our settings you can go to product details here and maybe you want to for example turn off the breadcrumbs, the categories, the manufacturers. Um, that's going to turn off the breadcrumbs here. It's going to turn off the categories and manufacturers down here if we just refresh it. Uh, you can see those things disappear. Okay, you can see if I roll over this image, it gives us a little magnifier on the side. Uh, you can turn that off. You can engage Lightbox. Maybe you want to even adjust the percentage of the image to this side of the panel. So if we do that and re let's refresh it, you can see I just made the image smaller. It's 25%. This side 75%. So it's not that this, it doesn't look good. It, it looks really good. Uh, it's, it's usable for most people. And there's a lot of fe uh, features in here that you might not know about. Um, you can turn on and off certain social media um, as well as some other features. So that's worth checking out if you want to do some basic modifications. Now, if you want to go a little bit further and use Elementor uh, and create your own template here that will get applied to all your products easily, um, let's take a look at how to do that. So uh, I'm going to jump over here to my left menu and you can see we have Elementor and we're going to look for this templates section and we're going to jump into the uh, theme builder. Okay. Now whenever you create a product in EasyCart it gets its own custom post. Uh, it's not necessarily a page. It's, it is a post in the WordPress system and so what we're going to do in Elementor here is it has all these selections of what you want a template and we want to do a single post so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I already have one here made but we're gonna go ahead and create a new one so just come up here to the top right and we're gonna click add new And it does pop up here with some pre-built designs. These, of course, are going to be uh, part of Elementor or their Pro versions. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and close this, and we don't need that. So we're starting here with just a blank page. If you're used to uh, Elementor, you, you're used to seeing this system work. Um, and we can just build out what we want the product to look like. So what we want to do is scroll down here in the modules and you will find there is a whole section for WP EasyCart. Okay, now a lot of these are product related. Um, you can see we have product breadcrumbs, product titles, tabs, descriptions, specifications, reviews, images, pricing, uh, the rating system, short descriptions, social icons, as well as some other stuff down here. And here's our add to cart. Uh, we also have some that aren't really uh, the product related, for example, a search bar. Um, that might be useful for another section or our store. Uh, our product is kind of the product grid. 
um, and our product details this is really designed if you want to just throw an entire product out on a page so you kind of have to make sure you are looking for these product WP easy cart product modules that means we're going to be working with uh, the individual pieces so if you are familiar with uh, this system it's very easy to use first you just click on here and we're gonna say it's gonna be a two column layout uh, and then we get to start putting modules into these columns so I'll just click up here on this little button and it gives me all my modules I'm gonna come down here to easy cart and let's say I want to have the uh, where is it let's just say the title I'm just going to drag the title out here and put it over here on this side when you drag these modules out the first thing you might you're going to notice is it says product not found and you need to turn on this setting it says use in template and it's going to use your very first product as an example um, as it puts and fills in this template and that gives you kind of a preview I'm going to go back to my modules and I'm just going to go ahead and select another one. I'm going to scroll down here to Easy Card and I'm going to go ahead and find. Um, let's get the images in there. So I'm going to put the images on this side. Okay, again, it says product not found. You're going to have to pick Use in Template. And boom, we get the first product. Now, as you do these modules you will notice once you engage the use in template you also get a lot of different options that let you kind of mess around with that module uh, for example do you want the light box or the magnifier do you want the thumbnails on or off if you want them do you want them on the left the right I'm gonna put them up here on the left and we'll put them on the right Okay, so you have some options there. You got spacing options. Uh, you can really get creative with these things. I'm going to make the thumbnails bigger. Okay, uh, let's go back to our modules. Find Easy Cart. And I'm going to say maybe the pricing. I want the pricing over here. Again, I need to turn on Use in Template if you want to adjust the actual um, options as well you can go to styling and this is where you can actually change padding radiuses borders backgrounds the typography of things you can get really creative uh, with all of these modules okay um, let's jump back here and let's just keep adding a few more if you want to get faster you can just type in easy or just start typing in easy cart and it will show you these okay uh, I'm gonna throw the maybe the short description in here turn on use in template this this one doesn't have one so nothing is showing but if I have a short description that would show okay again I'll just start typing easy uh, maybe I want to throw in the rating if I have a five-star rating I can throw that in and I'll turn on the use in template so I can kind of see what it looks like. It's the five stars. Okay. I'll go in here and maybe throw in. Let's take a look at the add to cart. Okay. I want the add to cart button. I need to turn on. Now, this does have two versions. Um, you're going to want to enable version two, it has all the new features. And I'm going to turn on use in template again and you can see this product for example has a lot of options okay I've set up a lot of like test options so you can kind of see what it looks like they will show up with the add to cart button so will the quantity and so will the add to cart button um, you have some other options here of course you can mess with um, you can turn off the quantity if you don't want it there you can turn it on uh, more importantly with this add to cart button you have a lot of styles uh, notice you can flip through here and almost every option uh, quantity input section every button has options for you to modify so it's really highly configurable okay um, you know we can take a look on here 
let's say we want to adjust the add to cart button okay this add to cart guy right here uh, I could change the text color I'll make it blue if I want to change the background color I'll make it light gray okay you could really the possibilities are endless here you can adjust paddings and border radiuses maybe I'm going to make that rounded and you can see it makes this top left corner rounded um, you could do that across all of them and now we've made kind of rounded edges on our add to cart button uh, really a lot border styles you know if you're if you're familiar with uh, with uh, Elementor you'll notice and recognize all these okay um, and then let's come down here underneath it let's say we want to go back to a single column I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple more things here. Let's say the product description I want to put underneath it. Turn on Use on Template, and I can see my description. Uh, maybe I want all my featured products down at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and engage. Uh, where are my featured items? Let's throw those down here. And again, I'm going to say Use in Template. And you can decide here, even if you want to have pro, you know product one, two, three, or four. We typically allow four um, items to show up here, and then you have all these other I items in within your featured items. You can turn on you know categories and prices, ratings. I'm going to get rid of a whole bunch of these things so that it's just the title and the price. And if somebody wants to see more information, or maybe I just turn on the pro let's just do the title. And so if somebody wants to see more of these featured items, they could click on that. Okay. And of course, you could put labels above these. There's nothing wrong with adding actual regular modules um, found here in Elementor. And that's what's great about it is you can actually really customize this. Now, let's say this is, uh, um, well, let me just change this. I'll just say, uh, come on. Oh, I'm typing in the wrong spot. Oh, it's wanting to do the post title. Never mind. I'll just take that off of there. It doesn't look good. And so we'll go ahead and delete this item. Okay, so let's say we have a really nice template that you've designed in Elementor. Um, we can publish this and more importantly we want to display it with certain conditions and so I'm going to go here and click on display conditions and you can do this later I'll show you how to do this later and it says what condition do you want to show this template and we're going to include this within our store items and all of them and I'm just going to hit save Okay, and this is going to go ahead and be updated. And I'm going to jump over here to my theme, and I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my product. And you can see that that template is now applied. Um, it's not the prettiest right now, of course, but you can see my images are on the right hand side, my descriptions down below, my featured products. I can add to cart. You know, of course, I could go through and really modify this template. Okay, make it look a little bit better, but that is an easy way to apply this to your entire store. If I come back in here, let's just open up any product, you can see that template has now been applied. So really, really powerful feature to get um, Elementor uh, templates within your system. Now, let's also take a look at uh, some other features here. I'm going to go ahead and exit this, and I'm just going to go to your uh, saved templates. Oops, sorry, I mean our theme builder. And you can see we have our two uh, templates here. I'm going to hit preview. Um, they look pretty similar. I'm going to delete this old one. This is the one we build. It had the images right here in the middle. It's got the product. This is where you can come back and you can always edit it or you can edit the conditions. 
okay and so this is applied to store items now you can also apply this to a single product or you can apply it even to categories and we do that by using tags okay and if you come in here to store items and go in tags every category in easy cart and every product is going to have um, a tag so let's say you make a category let's jump over here to easy cart again and just to show you an idea under products and categories you create different categories here um, men's women's shoes pants each of those is going to have a tag so if I type in start typing women it's gonna pop up with a tag here and it's gonna say women's and that means it's going to be this category okay because it has its own tag um, and if I do that I can even add conditions if I want to and I could say also in tag and maybe I start typing shirts okay because I do have a category for shirts and so it's going to apply it to any of those conditions and if you hit save that is a way to basically specify you only want to use that template within those groups okay so <clears throat> it's really really configurable here's a shirt um, obviously that's in that category and it's going to be applied to this system so not only can you apply it to your entire store you can use conditions with tags and you can spe specify exactly uh, which category you want and again if you want to let's go back here if you ever want to go back in and edit this it's very easy to do you just click edit and we're right back in the editor and I can go through and start adding more modules not just easy cart modules but maybe you want to even inject uh, uh, some of these other text fields and uh, you know titles whatever whatever you're looking to do on here you could customize um, you know maybe I want to put a heading in here and, and simply say this is my description okay and maybe I want another heading down here uh, we'll call this featured products we'll update our template and we'll just refresh our product and it shows up okay so uh, hopefully that was useful we're gonna have a lot of examples coming out in both video tutorials as well as documentation be sure to check our website um, there is a whole section in our documentation how to's for Elementor uh, we walk through all these different modules if you're wondering how to actually use the store module or our product module product details module be sure to check out those uh, document documentations um, we're also going to do some tutorials which come out that will uh, how to actually do designs that mimic uh, really popular websites out there so be on the lookout for those check our emailers as we send those out periodically and hopefully everybody finds this useful thanks for watching